slow Samson. The thing that Samson the sloth loved more than anything in the world was to make others happy. Samson had lots of friends and got invited to lots of parties, but there was one problem. Samson was slow. While he climbed through the trees and chatted to the frog, Hey Samson! Hi friend! The party was starting. While Samson stopped to sort out an argument, his friends danced the conga. Mine! No! Mine! Ours! Yes, ours! And while he helped a toplet tortoise, his friends sang happy Thursday. Take care. By the time Samson finally arrived, the cake was all gone and the party was finished. He had missed everything. Oh no, thought Samson. It's because I got distracted along the way. Next time, I'm going to hurry. On his way to the next party, Samson didn't stop for the tree frog. Sorry, got a rush. Had no time for the monkeys. Work it out yourself. And he journeyed past the through tortoise. Can't stop. And if anyone asked for help, Samson said, No, I'm busy. He was out of breath when he arrived, but even at top speed, he was still slow. He had been horrible and rude to everyone for nothing. Without Samson stopping to help, everything had gone wrong. The tortoise had spent the whole day stuck on his back. The tree frog had no one to talk to. And the monkey servant had annoyed the whole rainforest. This is my side of the branch, no mine. I'm just so slow, <laughs> Samson sobbed. No matter what I do, I will never make it to a party on time. Samson's friends were worried about him. We need a plan, said Mark. Together, they came up with lots of different ideas. Balloons, can't control. Rocket pack, crash. And right later, roller skaters. Slums can't stand, catapult him. And one seemed like it might just work. The next day, Samson received a new invitation. He knew he would be late again, but his friends were looking forward to seeing him. He couldn't let them down. To Samson, there is a party tomorrow, usual place, two o'clock. Hope you can make it, Mark. Samson set off for the party. This time, he didn't hurry. He stopped to chat to the tree frog. Hi, friend. Not now. And he was ready to help the monkeys. Get a dash, get a go. And the tortoise. Can't stop now. But they all rushed off when they saw him. They must be very mad at me, thought Samson. Samson felt awfully lonely and he was still slow. By the time Samson arrived, he was sure he was hours late. But to his surprise, he found... Surprise! The party had only just begun. We love Samson, even he is late sometimes. We changed the time on your invite, his friends explained. We had an extra two hours to get here. It really started at four o'clock. There was dancing, there was party games, and there was plenty of cake. But best of all, Samson had an amazing time with his friends. Everyone agreed that it was the best party yet, because Samson had been there to share it with them. Thank you for watching. With you was Jehono Mara's blog. See you next time. Goodbye.